this Poker Million Six, kicking off with the celebrity qualifier. The winner here tonight going straight into the main draw where the first prize is a whopping $1 million. And it's a great mix of celebrities we have here tonight, not least of which because they're all keen poker players. Many eyes, of course, will be peeled for the lovely likes of Danielle Lloyd. She's known, Roy, for many things, but what is not well known is that she's quite accomplished on the poker table. She had a great uh, training in her ex, Teddy Sheringham. I normally get them off for nine yeah, in seat two there we have Brian McFadden, the former Westlife member. He's been working on his second album just recently, but I'll tell you what, he's a very mean and accomplished poker player. You'll find him in the Sporting Emporium Casino most nights of the week, of course, when he's not busy recording his albums. And just this year, he won a 10,000 euro pot from none other than world champion Chris Moneymaker during the Irish Open. Yeah, Dublin's a good training ground. And of course, Matt Dawson, the 2003 Rugby World Cup winner, former scrum half. But he's a renaissance man. He cooks, he dances, and he plays poker. And he's played in this poker million before, so you're looking for experience there. Be straight into the first hand thunder off and running at the poker million six. Uh, Roy blinds, of course, start at one in two thousand. Each player has a hundred thousand in chips, and uh, the chips are a little different value wise. The blues are worth a thousand, the reds are worth five thousand, and the greens are worth ten. Pass. First action to Matt Dawson. Now, this is something we might not expect. Des Wilson playing the first hand. Yeah, Des Wilson wouldn't be known to be the most aggressive of players. He is an author of a book called Swing with the Devil Fish, and uh, he's got his invite courtesy of that. I believe his second book is currently in print. Yeah, he's well known for being a writer. Look at this action around. The rest is raised to 6,000 by Wilson. Called by Dexter Fletcher. And Danielle Lloyd in as well with the same hand that Dexter has. Danielle will be first to act when the flop comes down. Puts Des in a very strong spot here. Well, nobody has flopped a pair. Do you give the edge to Des here with the okay. continuation bet? I don't know if Des can muster a continuation bet. He's reached for his chips. 8,000. Well, there's 20,000 in the pot. Well, Des has shown some initiative here to come out betting with no more than an ace high. It's got past the first queen king. That'll give him a load of confidence if he can get Danielle off this. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, we've seen Danielle play poker before. She's capable of the big bluff, but not the first hand, she says. And big smile from the man who's writing ghosts at the table. He's done very well there, Des, not known as an aggressive player. And not only did he miss the flop, he also saw it through. He bet on that flop, no more than an ace height. And that would do his confidence no end of good. No Limit Texas Hold'em is a variation of poker, with players making the best five-card poker hand from seven available. Play begins with each player being dealt two cards. Players must first make a betting decision solely based on the value of those two cards. This decides whether they are in or out. Next comes the flop. Three community cards dealt face up for all players to see. Players bet again, then a fourth community card is dealt, known as the turn. After another round of betting, the fifth community card, called the river, is placed on the table. Players bet again and reveal their cards. When the betting is done, we see who's won. You must be in the hand at the end to take the pot. Players make the best five card hand from the seven available. Winner takes the money. Every five card poker hand falls into the official ranking of hands. High card at the bottom. That's if you have nothing at all. One pair higher than that and two pairs higher still. Three of a kind is sometimes called a set. And a straight is five cards in a row of any suit. Aces play high or low in a straight. Flush, five cards are the same suit in any order. Flush beats us straight here. Full house, three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind is higher still. Pretty self-explanatory, but a straight flush, that's top pop. That's five in a row, all the same suit. And a royal flush, of course, is a straight flush. Ace high. 
was a pretty bad job. Well, it's around about a third of the way through the first level here. Can I just put some of the cards, please? And Brian's bullying me. <laughs> These guys are having fun. Dawson's not going to put up with that for a second. Call. Call. A rash of calling has broken out. Dawson started out with a six deuce, right? <laughs> yeah, that's strange. <laughs> now, what Call. often happens in these multi way pots is no a lot of people no no flop a lot of permutations. It, when you do have a pot like this, four or five ways, Roy, you really have to play careful with medium value hands, don't well, you? Our top pair could well easily be losing. <laughs> a couple of ducks a on the I board. I suggest Matt Dawson is going to like that. Check, check. Tell you what, he's. 6,000. He's getting a lot of positive Pass. reinforcement for the 6 do suited. Pass. And he's betted straight out. Pass. No, I think he uh, he could have afforded a check there. Oh, oh wow! Roy, this is really interesting because McFadden is in a spot, the big blind, where he could have a deuce, and he's isn't he thinking that Dawson shouldn't have one here? Well, he's representing, yeah, absolutely. He's, he's taking Matt Dawson for a far bigger hand than a deuce six. Um, cool. And he's showing some, some cool. initiative there by representing. I'm the guy on the table that can have a two, the only guy that should have a two. And I don't, and the trouble is... Brian's going to have to bet at this again. Yeah, McFad Check. now basically Check. drawing dead. The raise was 12,000, and Dawson giving McFadden every chance to bluff at this. He's Check. got a full house now, does Matt? Yeah, small bet from Matt Dawson here just to get paid off if he believes his opponent's got something to pay him off with. 20,000. 20, less than half the pot. If Brian McFadden did have a jack in this pot, he would pay him off, surely, but it's not going to happen. There's the heart rates coming in. 101 is nearly rapid fire for the athlete, Dawson. And uh, if McFadden's not seriously considering it. Pass. Obviously not. Now, that wasn't bad play from Brian McFadden there. As you said, Jesse, he, he's kind of sensed I'm the only guy that can have a two. You shouldn't have a two, but he read it oh so wrong. Coming in now, so Matt Dawson...